How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your academic skills. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can make this uh, Revit startup image model like this. Once you open Revit and we see this type of uh, one model, there is some glass, some fins and uh, it's the shape, some oval shape uh, is showing there. So how we can make something like this. Basically, I am going to use here massing and uh, cut and wall pattern based only to create this. So here you go. I will go to in the model tab and choose new. And I will choose archi uh, architectural template. Now I am here in uh, level 0 plan. This time I am going to create one reference line from architectural tab. I just draw here in the center of this working space. Then I am going to choose massing inside and in place mass. Then I will go to just place some from the model some point. Before placing that, I just need to set the working plan. So just I will go to pick plan and just I will select this. I will choose south side. And here I can just pick three point. Actually level is not uh, required for me now. This time I'm just going to give the some distance. I'll just keep here 5 meter. Another copy. I'll just take 5 meter. This time I'm going to move it little bit far. And this one also. This one I'm just going to move it here. So now I have I have points. I'll go to 3D mode and I can check in the front view. I'll just connect these points with a spline tools. Now one I'll just connect this these three points, select these three points, click on a spline and then select this point and create a spline now second thing i need to just do this to just i need to just make some curve i'll do it this and i'll keep this one So it's all three is in different position shape. Now okay. Even I can modify it later. Also, just I'll select all three lines. I'll go to create form. I'll create solid form. Even you can move like this. Or just select this, go to X remote, select the point, and just pull it. So I have something. Now it's okay. Just I will go to select all. And I will off the X ray mode. And now I will do, choose divide surface. Now you can see the surface is divided. From this properties panel, I will just go to modify. There is fixed number. I will just use maximum spacing. Here I can say 2 meter. U grid. Then I will go to V grid. 
and this is also showing fix I will choose maximum spacing I can say this is 1.5 meter now this is ok I just I will just finish the then I will go to save and I can say this button panel machine actually I will go to VG type v visibility and graphics and here I will go to annotation and just I switch off the annotation so I don't have levels and grid showing here now next step I'll go to again file new and I'll choose family then I need to go to find the from English make sure if you are working with metric you have to choose metric from here otherwise you can go to choose English Imperial so now here I am using metric I will go to choose metric cotton panel pattern base then open now I have pattern base family this is a rectangle if you need to modify this one you can choose and modify from here from any shape anything whatever you required you can choose this from here now I need rectangular I will keep as it is and I will start drawing some glass first I will select this all reference line and I will go to create solid form I will choose, choose this extrusion and then from here offset I will choose glass thickness I can say 30 milli then I will, I will again go to or just I will select this glass panel and then I will type HH to hide this panel temporarily now I will just go to point and I will draw one point here over this reference line now just go to create rectangle and set the work plan on this point and then from this reference line below I will just go to create one rectangle which I am going to use for the mullion so here mullion thickness uh, width will be 50 milli ok I am just going to use here mullion size 120 by 50 milli so from here I can keep 25 milli because if two mullion will join together it will be 25 25 so it will become 50 milli and then I will go to hit tab to select this and I will keep as it is 120 milli now once profile created just select this profile select this all reference line go to create solid form So now I have glass and then mullion. Just select mullion and go to assign the family. Create one parameter for glass and keep type. Okay. And just assign here material. Make one parameter for mullion you can say aluminium aluminium keep the same type parameter ok 
in a sign here. Once it's finished, now just save as this. You can say this curtain wall, curtain wall. You can say curtain wall for T family. Just load it into the project. Now just I mean 3D view. Just close all other open view. From here just select again the mesh. Go to edit in place. And then select this mesh and go to surface representation option click on this point and choose this node on then apply now i'll go to create component once you select the component you can see the rectangular curtain work it's created so i'll just go to draw one two three and four point you can see all the points is showing here now just put select this family and once you will come in modify panel you can see here this is the repeat command is showing just click on this and then you can see this all the, this is completed cotton now just you can see the million and other thing is showing here glass it's not showing because i didn't assign that material just go to family and then select this panel even if you go to in the property and here yes. I can duplicate it make it aluminium material and this is glass so I can assign here for aluminium then I will go to choose material from here I can assign this material and use the same render material here and then for glass I will choose default glass material parents I can see this is showing something I will choose this and graphic I will choose render ok and then Okay, once you change this shaded mode, you can see this is changed. Then I will load again it to the model. then you can see there is some graphic I think problem once I will click finish I'll just go to edit this I will just choose aluminium what I made here this aluminium material and this is glass this is glass material and then just click ok i hope this will update now because once i loaded that time it was not changed 
So now you can see this. Yes, there is one more thing I need to just add here. Some fins was in the image. You saw that. So just how I can add that fins. First I'll go to temporary hide this mullion now. H H type H H. And then this curtain wall. Hide this curtain wall also. Select this curtain wall. Hide. Then just place one point here. And then I'll just go to draw and set this point as a reference. And draw one a rectangle which I will use for fins. And I will give the thickness of this fins 3 milli. And then the height, I can say this height will be 300 milli. I think it's looking more. 250 so once finished this is outside and then I'll just select this both point to, with the profile just I'll go to copy I'll copy anywhere here somewhere and then I'll just go to select the point and pick the host and I'll keep here this side also once I have both side copy, just I will go to select the profile and then I will hit the tab key to select only this reference line and go to here solid form. Then here I will just go to select the profile again and hit the tab key to select only this reference line and create solid form. So like this it's finished now i'll go to load this family again and you can see there now here we go you can see this fins thanks for watching Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.